What is up everybody? It is Wick here. We are about to go thrifting, looking for some things to flip on eBay, Amazon FBA, or wherever else. I have a lot of good sales to ship out this morning. I forget, 8, 9, 10 sales maybe, over $700 worth of sales. First thing I'm shipping out is this Casio calculator. Picked this up for $1.99 at Goodwill. I sold it for $199.00. 95 cents when i first picked this up i estimated i was going to sell this for about 275 300 however the battery cover would not stay on so i had to disclose that i marked it down quite a bit uh, just to move it because people collect these they want them in good condition with the battery cover being you know broken like that it's, it's just unfortunate however you can't complain i sold this for 200 bucks i paid two dollars we will take it next we are shipping out these dr comfort shoes they are size 13 wide i paid ten dollars for these at goodwill and i sold them for 39.99 plus shipping next i'm shipping out this sony walkman cassette player i picked this up i think for only a dollar at a yard sale and i sold it for thirty dollars here we have an orbit six station Sprinkler timer paid about $12 for this at Lowe's and I sold it for $47.95 Next we have this grill cover paid $10 for these at Lowe's I bought maybe 12 of them sold this one for $30 plus shipping Actually forgot I even had them listed on eBay. I've been selling them on Amazon uh, Good thing it reminded me I removed them from eBay because they sell for about $50 doing FBA on Amazon Next, I am shipping out this Tetris Party Deluxe Wii game. I bought a Wii at Goodwill for $5.99, and this game was inside. So I sold the game for $22.95. Here we have a shower curtain. Paid $2 for this at a Goodwill, and I sold it for $20. Next, I'm shipping out this Wolverine hasbro play school heroes figure still selling through that lot i bought recently at goodwill for 15 dollars i've already made 200 250 possibly even 300 dollars so far on that lot so i sold this guy right here for 12 dollars 95 cents next i'm shipping out this steam mop paid 40 dollars for it at lowe's got about five or six of them and i sold it for 120 dollars plus shipping Shipping out this Philips Magnavox VCR with the remote. I picked this up for $5.99 at Goodwill. Usually sell these on Amazon. Amazon did not have a listing for this one, so I just threw it on eBay for $45 plus shipping. Here I'm shipping out this Speed Set Conduit Level. Got this at Home Depot, paid $3 or $4 for it. Sold it for $17.95. And while I was dealing with that, I got another sale. So we're going to ship these out real quick. San Antonio Shoe Company shoes. And I sold these for $24.95 plus shipping. And then while I was shipping those, I got another shoe sale. So I sold these uh, only for $14.95 plus shipping. But that's okay because I only paid a dollar for these at a garage sale. And there was no cleaning work to do on them. I just listed them. So we're in the first Goodwill of the day and we are looking for some stuff to flip. And yeah, we got those curlers still back there. Not worth picking up because they're missing stuff. We got a viewpoint actually restricted on Amazon. Would have been worth a little, little bit of money. HP scanner, very yellow, not in great shape, not a great model, old. So we ended up leaving that. But right now I am recording in a super wide uh, filming so let me know if you like this better uh, the super wide versus just the the wide or just the regular recording it's a little you know wobbly fish-eyed looking but it covers a lot more area right and which is pretty good in thrifting because you can see more when I'm in the store uh, the resolution has to be a little bit lower when I record in this uh, but I think it's still gonna look fine let me know in the comments if you like this or if it's just weird looking or whatever. There's a universal cleaning tape, not worth picking up. It's been used. So yeah, a lot of media here. Look for the sealed new stuff. Uh, toys, a lot of toys. I like how the camera kind of gets up there. I don't have to move my hand as much. So yeah, um, let me know if you see anything I walk past. We got a P3 
pink guitar here. And uh, I don't think that's worth anything. A dollhouse back there could have been worth picking up. I got a dollhouse I picked up like a year ago in one of those Salvation Army pallets. About five times the size of that one. And it's just, it's worth about $100. But you can't really sell it unless you put it together and see if all the pieces are there. Because it's been opened. And uh, I just don't feel like doing that. Honestly, I should just re-donate it. Or just flip it locally for like $10. I don't know. That's how death piles are formed. When you acquire stuff, it's worth a little bit of money. But it takes, you know, a lot of effort and something you don't really want to do. As far as the toys go, I'm not really seeing anything else except this sealed vineyards puzzle here. I picked this up before. I don't remember what I sold it for. But you know what? We'll grab it. It's not currently listed on Amazon. And yeah, I don't see anything else here in the toys. So I think we're going to move on to a new section and see if we can find any other items. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Toys are a little light here. Usually there's more toys at this Goodwill. There's a Starlink. I've looked that up before. Not worth picking up. Starlink usually isn't. So over here in the miscellaneous, there's still a bunch of um, hand sanitizer there. And I've picked some of that up before, multiple times, actually, because I, I use it. So, yeah, 99 cents, pretty good deal. And, yeah, do we see anything else? I don't see anything else. What's this? Oh, a Sony or a Panasonic cassette, 60 minute. I usually don't pick up the 60 minutes because they're just not as good of money. Uh, maybe if there was like 20 of them and I got them at like a quarter a piece, it would be worth it. Now the 120 minutes, you can make some pretty decent profit on those. People are paying up for those. And uh, yeah, dishes, bunch of dishes. Not seeing anything as I'm walking back to the cart. Uh, we do go over to the shoes and I find some shoes that are interesting. These Andrew Bali of Switzerland shoes look like the comps are pretty good on them. The women's shoes here, just not a whole lot of shoes compared to what this Goodwill has had in the past. But you gotta look, you gotta hope, hope there's some amazing shoes. Yeah, I just don't see anything promising. Well, there's a pair of something, what are these? Uh, I don't know, what those were, Clarks maybe? Very rarely you come across a pair of Clarks that are worth selling. They have to be a really high-end pair because... They're, they're so saturated on eBay. Uh, golf clubs. Looking for any good brands. Ping. TaylorMade. Even Nike I'll take. I'm not seeing anything. Let me know if you saw anything. Over here though, there's this Igloo Plenty Cool cooler. Uh, these things can be worth picking up. They, they plug in, but was missing the cord. and It was very dirty. Didn't really want to deal with it. So we moved on from there. And uh, looking at some mugs in a new Goodwill, I picked up these shoes, New Balance for $4.99 off a new cart. So that's a pretty good pickup, I think. I certainly don't sell a lot of mugs, but I like to look through them and see if there's any good Starbucks, any good collector's mugs. But yeah, maybe there's some special mugs I don't know about. I'm sure there is. Let me know if you see any. So yeah, we just move on down the line here. And by the way, I'm recording in non-super mode now or non-super wide uh, it's not even wide i don't think i guess it is wide considered wide so yeah let me know this is the difference just doing some testing in this video looking through the toys here i did pick up something i'm not sure if i got it on video on my second pass through it was an imaginex toy not seeing it here in the footage there's that Taz, all beat up, still sitting there. No one will buy him. Somebody buy that poor Taz. And looking at the plush, plush is good to sell if you could find some good ones. Um, sometimes can be tricky to ship. Just make sure if it breaks that one pound mark, goes into the two pound territory. Uh, you're factoring that in because that's a big you know, price increase usually um, on shipping. So... Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything, so we're just going to go to the next place. 
I guess we're not going to go to the next place yet. We're going to come down here first. Uh, I'm trying to record in some areas I don't usually record in. Uh, let me know in some areas you'd like me to record while I'm in Goodwill. Here's a flinch game sitting over here for $1.99. I've sold those before, but not today. It was in too beat up of shape. But I go to Salvation Army and look what I got in the cart. Absolutely crazy. A bunch of Nintendo 64 games, Nintendo games. The previous day, I picked up an N64 in here. They told me there weren't any more games in the back. I come in this morning and find out there was a lot of games. So, yeah, absolutely incredible. Um, nothing makes me more excited to see this kind of stuff because this is what I collect. This is what got me into thrifting and garage sales in the beginning. I was looking for old games. Actually, this whole channel was going to be about nothing but video games you just don't find them enough to make a whole channel it just kind of converted into this but i'm in walmart now looking at clearance and yeah we got a cart full of stuff here so very awesome everything's coming up wick because i go to home depot and we find a bunch of security cameras 75 percent off you cannot beat that so yeah i put those in the car we are now in another goodwill and in the toys we're back to the super wide version so, yeah, looking in here, it's a PlayStation 3 controller. I was happy about that, but then I noticed there's a lot of rattling inside. So, for $1.99, it's probably still worth picking up, but I'm extremely tired, and <laughs> I did not want to stand in line to buy it with it rattling. So, you know what? I just left it in the cart or in that basket there, and we moved on to the other thrift store, the last stop of the day. There's a game. I looked that up on Amazon. Couldn't find any comps. There's a laser game down there, which I did end up picking up. And we're just looking around. This is a briar horse. No, I don't think so. I didn't see any markings on it. There's a glove, a youth glove for $2. I did end up picking that up. I thought this might be Polly Pocket stuff. But no, it looked like it was just some cheaper toys. Let me show you what I got today. Awesome haul. So let's go over this haul. We got some stuff thrifted and we got some retail arbitrage in the kitchen. Some great pickups today. Let's just start with what I'm most excited about. These in-box video games. If you don't know, if you're new to the channel, I collect retro video games. My collection is all just things I have found in the wild. I don't go to eBay or you know go to resale shops and buy them at full price or anything like that. But it's probably been years probably two or three years since i've found this quality of stuff in the wild it's just harder and harder to find and what makes this even more crazy and a little bit annoying to me is if you've seen my last video where i went garage selling i stopped in salvation army on the way back and i pulled a inbox nintendo 64 controller couple games and uh, it was in my hall go check out that video if you haven't seen it you can see what i picked up but I asked them if they had any more games that they had in the back or they were bringing out. I was I was told no. So the next morning I decide, you know what? I bet there's going to be games. Something in my mind just told me there would be games. First one in the door when they opened and I just looked where the Nintendo 64 was. Sure enough, before I could even get there, I saw all of these sitting there. And I'm like, yes, I knew it. Then I talked to the employees. I made sure there were no more games that they were bringing out and no more in the back. So yeah, let's just start back here. Got some inbox NES games. I'm more excited about the boxes because that's what's really hard to find are these cardboard boxes. But Karate Kid back here um, is kind of rare in the box. Unfortunately, this one is missing the manual, the insert and stuff like that. So it's not worth as much. It's nice to have the box though. Ice hockey the same way. Tecmo Super Bowl is complete. It's got the styrofoam. It's got the inserts like for the Nintendo Power magazines, the instructions. Everything is very clean and crisp. Fortunately, it's not a high end game. Same with Knockout Kings. Everything's good in there. Glover is 100% complete in great condition. I believe this is like $70 or $80 complete. You got Super Mario 64, which is a great game to have complete. And the labels on these are amazing. The boxes are even re in really good condition. I paid $7.99 for every game except for one that was $8.99 because it had this inside with it which is fine because this is like 20 25 dollars the same with this rumble pack is 20 25 dollars i also got one of these yesterday and with one of the games that was allotted but yeah super mario 64 i think that's probably at least a hundred dollars in this condition uh complete 
and then of course Zelda. These are two games I wanted to complete in box for my collection, and here they are. Zelda is easily $150 complete in this condition. And then we just got some loose NES games. Now some of these I paid a little bit more than I should have. I just wasn't gonna leave them sitting there on the shelf. Uh, Batman, I think this is still a 15 to $20 game, but the labels on these are so clean. $7.99, I'm still picking it up. Excite Bike, um, I think this is like a $15 game. I thought this was not worth as much. And I'm like, do I really need another, another Excite Bike game? I feel like I have three or four of these at this point. But again, the label's so clean. Um, $7.99, I'll pay it. And a Millipede in there. Again, I don't know what that's worth. And Paperboy, which is a pretty good game. I feel like that's a $15 game. But again, just really mint condition. Paperboy, I probably have a copy i i don't know i keep track of my collection using price charting which is like a website where you can put it in it estimates how much your collection is worth uh just looking at ebay solds and stuff like that i think it's estimated right now fifteen thousand dollars um so that's pretty good for just stuff i've been collecting uh going to garage sales and thrift stores over the last few years and of course you know maybe some personal stuff that i've bought and owned um in the past is in there too uh world cup you know, this sells for like five, five or six dollars. So yeah, um, I paid $7.99 for that as well, though. I'm really glad I ended up going back into Salvation Army. It's one of those, I talk about it all the time, dream scenarios for a collector is to just go in and see this kind of stuff on the shelf, especially the inbox stuff or find it at a garage sale because it's just so hard to find anymore. Pretty much all of this is going into the collection, but I'm going to put a price of estimated resale profit uh, for anyone interested on the screen. But we found some other good stuff thrifting uh, at the church-based thrift store for a dollar. I picked up this Laser X. Looks like everything's in there. Uh, selling on Amazon used for about $40, $45 it looked like. So we'll go ahead and do that FBA. Picked up this Sealed Vineyards Puzzle, $3.99. I've actually sold this before. Currently no one's selling it on Amazon. It's got a high rank, about 900 and some thousand. But that's okay because there's none in stock. That's probably why it, it's high. I still bet it'll sell. I'll probably price it, you know, 30 bucks. I, I bet it sells. Picked up a couple of DVD sets. We got Reaper Season 1. Never heard of this, so anything unique or sealed, I look up. $5.99, unfortunately. You know, it's, it looked like it was selling for about $24, $25. Season 2 looks like it was like $40 some dollars. Unfortunately, there's no Season 2 there. I looked. Goodwill had a bunch of new DVD DVDs in today. Not like new seal, but just ones that they... Someone obviously donated. But then I found this one. This one sealed and I'd never heard of it. Burt Reynolds. Sure enough, yeah, it looked like it sells for about $16. So for $2.99, pick that up. Right here, we picked up this Imaginex Squid. And uh, it was only $0.99. Cents. This probably sells for $15, $16. It seemed like I saw comps selling for. Below it, uh, Salvation Army. I also got this heating, ventilating, and air conditioning book. This is restricted on Amazon, but it's selling pre-owned for $70 on there. There's some comps on eBay where this sold for $50 plus shipping. I believe the only ones listed were over $100. So I'm going to put this on eBay. Uh, minimum, I'm going to sell it for 50, uh, but I might shoot for a little bit more if no one else is, you know, competing in 60, 70 dollars. Might just go ahead and price it at that. Uh, either way, I'm going to make at least 40 dollars profit on this book. I only paid a dollar for it. At the thrift store, I picked up this youth glove, King Griffey Jr. It is very clean, and it was two dollars, and it looked like it was selling between 20, 25 dollars in this condition. I'll probably just go ahead and price it. $24.99. Then we picked up these Bali, Andrew Bali of Switzerland. Now, I don't think I've ever researched this brand before, but these are in very clean condition. i done a search and like Andrew Bali wasn't really showing up, but Bali of Switzerland was, I'm assuming it's the same shoe company. Yeah, some of the prices were anywhere between $40 and $200 for a pre-owned pair of shoes. I'll have to do some more research on this particular model. See if I can find it, get a little bit more research done. I didn't want to sit there and research too much in Goodwill. For $4.99, I just went ahead and bought them. More shoes down here for $4.99. I picked up these New Balance. These are white, very clean. Uh, what was the model? 847V3. It seems like these were selling for between $25, $30. I forget already. I picked up these Skechers. Uh, what are they? D-Light shoes because I picked up a pair that was, I, I believe, in pretty much new condition. About a month ago, enlisted them, and they sold within two days. So these, I paid $6.99 for. Like, eh, maybe these will sell for, 
you know, $24.99 and I can make about, you know, $15 profit. We'll see. Since the others sold so quick, I figured I'd give these a try. Doesn't mean that they're going to sell the same speed. Shoes, you know, you have to have someone that wants that style of shoe, is that size, R willing to buy pre-owned shoes. So you got to have a lot of ingredients for shoes to sell, but they do move. I really got to stop picking up clothing if I'm not going to list it. I keep buying decent clothing that will sell. This is a members only 100% wool jacket and I couldn't leave it on the shelf because, you know, I think I can sell this for minimum $50, between 50 and 80. I didn't see comps for this exact one, but similar ones, it's looking like that. So yeah, I bought it. It's in very good condition. So now let's go over the retail arbitrage. I stopped in Walmart to get some boxes and end up finding some clearance. I love when that happens. Got these Black & Decker Helix mixers. I don't sell these on Amazon, Black & Decker, Stanley will ask you not to sell their products and if you don't have permission brand permission so you know what i'll sell them on ebay strange thing is there's none of these on ebay at least when i scan the upc but they were seven dollars and something selling normally for thirty dollars and i'm going to keep one because i've been wanting a mixer i've been trying to hold out i'm like i'm going to find a new kitchenaid mixer at a yard sale or on clearance but thinking about it i don't have room for a kitchenaid mixer i don't use a mixer enough to warrant owning a KitchenAid mixer. So, you know, this is going to be fine for me. Um, I can put it under the cabinet and not take up counter space. But I believe these were on Amazon for $30. So you can price them at like $24.99 on eBay. Um, in the end, you're going to at least double your money. Same with these. They're selling pretty well. Self-cleaning UV water bottle, I guess. Kind of interesting. $7.47. Looks like they were selling for about $24. You can do lots of two maybe to save on shipping. Uh, should double my money on those. Right here, we got this smart cover stuff, $4.97. Normally $20 at Walmart. These are selling for about $15 to $18 on eBay. I'll probably do lots of three because I got six of them. These are selling great. Look like the comps, you know, they're just moving right through. So for $4.97, yeah, I think that's a good pickup. You know, Home Depot, we got some nice pickups for some security cameras. This right here, this is a Ring doorbell. Originally $200, marked down to 50. However, I completely missed it. It had been torn open. <laughs> um, yeah, I just grabbed it and put it in the cart. And uh, yeah, my mother has been kind of wanting one of these and I kind of want one. So I'll probably pop it open, make sure it's in good condition. One of us will probably just use it. But over here, I got a couple Arlo video doorbells as well. Now these were like $38. I forget what they're marked down from, but um, they're selling on eBay. I think I'll at least double my money on those as well. Uh, we got these Wise camera and light set here. Starter pack, $25 marked down from $100. Looks like they're selling on eBay for about $80, $90. So you'll definitely make some money on those as well. Then we got some of these Arlo floodlight cameras. Uh, these were $63 normally. Uh, what were they? I, th I think over $300. Maybe just right around $300 originally. So paid $63 for them, but looks like they're selling for about $185, $195 on eBay. So, whoa, yikes. So I don't think I need a Arlo Pro 3 floodlight camera, so probably we'll just sell those. Um, should make about $100 a piece on those. There it is, everybody. That's the haul. We'll have to see how long it takes to find another video game haul like this for the collection. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be a while. I really want to thank you for watching. I appreciate you watching. Make sure to hit that like button for me on the way out. Follow the video. Share the video with all your friends. Uh, this has been Wick. Until next time.